Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and in today's video we're going to be doing another discussion video. This one's going to be giving our thoughts on the news that the first episode of The Ones Who Live, the pilot episode, is going to be an hour and a half long. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and in today's video we're going to be doing a discussion video, we're going to talk about some really awesome news about the first episode of Ones Who Live. Now, yesterday we did do a breakdown video where we went over some new footage for the show, there were two new brand new little teasers, um, I'd say that's probably like our big Walking Dead drop for this week, I'd say they were really good teasers too, so definitely, uh, you know, make sure to go ahead and check them out, and check down the breakdown video we did yesterday as well for them, so, um, I had a few people acknowledge this one in the comments of my video, and you know, you guys know me, I, I try to keep up with all the news that, that we possibly have, I try to update you guys on everything, but sometimes something slips my mind, and uh, you guys did remind me that this news came out yesterday as well, which is that apparently the first episode, the premiere of The Ones Who Live, is going to be an hour and a half long, which when I heard this, I was like, oh my god, we are getting what we want, you know, I mean, I've said it many times before, but but, you know, a lot of people have said, oh, well, you know, narrating, uh, narrowing this down to like six episodes instead of three big movies, there's definitely going to be some, some problems here. There's going to be some stuff that we don't get. Well, this is an example of why I keep saying to you guys that we are getting what we want. We are 100% uh, getting what we want. Just one episode is an hour and a half long, and the others are probably at least going to be like 50 minutes, you know, maybe even another one that could be an hour, you know, like who knows the length of some of these episodes, like, they are making sure that we are getting what we deserve, and that's what I appreciate about this show already, um, not to mention, I guarantee from the original concept, Michonne was not going to be at least in the first movie, so they've added Michonne in as well, too, so now we have two characters we love, you know, so it's like, it's, to me, it's, this show is absolutely the answer, and I can honestly very much understand why Scott Gimple decided to switch this one up and decided to do this because, you know, he has so many other opportunities and making a pilot like an hour and a half, that's a movie in and of itself. It seriously is. And with the budget this show has and the visuals this show has, I have no doubt that this is going to look absolutely phenomenal. It's going to look so, so good. So the fact that we're getting an hour and a half premiere, well, it means two things, I'd say. One is that the episode is called Years, so obviously we're going to be catching up with all of the years that Rick has been, you know, in the CRM for, and what exactly he's been doing. I feel like, honestly, guys, they are going to mentally torture the viewers like they've mentally tortured Rick. I honestly feel like there's going to be a lot of scenarios where we watch that first episode, and we are going to feel closed in and locked up just like Rick. I really do. I feel like they're going to they're going to make it really really dramatic. I just for some reason I just see it. I don't know what it is. So We'll see how they do it. I'm very excited to see how it all plays out. And also knowing that this episode is an hour and a half, yeah, we definitely are going to have a chance to check in with Michonne and see what she's been doing as well too. You know, we'll definitely have extra time now to check in with Michonne and her looking for Rick and seeing her role with the group that she's with and stuff like that. And we'll have enough time to, you know, see what Rick's doing as well too. So I think this works out in everybody's benefit. I really do. Um, the first episode automatically already is the length of a freaking movie and it sounds like it's really going to be good the only thing i hope for is that nobody is screwing this up and it's actually like counting commercials involved and it's only an hour and people are screwing up the runtime um i doubt that but again we'll have to see i i feel like for an event like this and for a show like this they will go out of their way to make it you know like an hour and a half plus they've been working on this show for a long time there's been a long build up to it they definitely could have written a massive script for that first episode and i feel like that's what they did so and you know it took them several months to wrap the show up too you know like i think they started in like late january february and they weren't done till like i think it was like may june you know like it took them a while to get this season done so it would make sense you know why this episode's so long and hell there probably are at least another episode or two that could even be close to this length for all we know and we just don't know it yet you know so yeah it's it's definitely you know biggest in scale biggest in production of any of the three spinoffs that we've gotten after the walking dead or as i like to say the sequel shows because these are sequel shows you know dead city daryl dixon 
Ones Who Live. Ones Who Live in particular feels like a sequel because, I mean, there's literally the scene of Michonne where she's leading the Horde away from that same final scene of the main show, you know? Like, this is real sequel content, you know? Uh, it's just a matter of, okay, so after these shows are done, where are we going next, you know? Which I feel like we'll start to get information on that once this show releases. Um, I feel like when this show ends, that's when Gimple will start coming out and saying, okay, this is where we're heading next, you know? So, yeah, that's which I'm excited. I'm very excited, you know, to see uh, what we got next after this show. What else is up for this franchise? You know, are we going to start getting ready for the crossover event in a couple years? Uh, you know, I, I would assume so. But, again, a lot of um, a lot of speculation. Not many answers yet. But very, very excited. And, uh, yeah, Once Who Live, getting a long, you know, hour and a half premiere like that. Um I tell you what, man, I'm down. I am so ready. I am honestly probably going to be shaking before that episode releases, which does not happen with me with shows. But Rick Grimes, man, oh, man, the hype doesn't get better than that. I mean, seriously, I cannot wait to see him again. So uh, thank you all for watching. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead universe. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.